if this is your first time here, a special welcome just for you. My name is Miss Carrie Ann, and I am so glad you're here with me today. Are you ready to go on a Bible adventure? If you are, let's all stand up and let's get ready together. Here in Kids Live, we believe that we can follow God and shine brighter in all our adventures the best when we do these three things. Come along and follow along with me. Ready? Love. Love always. Trust. Trust God no matter what. And wisdom. Make smart choices. Great job, everyone. Now, it's time to get ready for worship. We worship God when we sing songs to Him with our whole mind, our whole bodies, and our whole hearts. And today, we are going to get our bodies ready by drawing the letter Z with our arms. So let's all shake our arms and let's start with our hmm, left one. Ready? Here we go. Can we draw a Z? Very good. Let's draw a Z with our other arm. Z. Now, can we draw the letter Z with both of our arms? Let's bring our arms up. Ready? Here we go. Z. Very good. Now that our arms are ready, our bodies are ready, let's get our hearts ready and talk to God together. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Hi, God. Thank you for loving me. I want to worship you with my whole mind, my whole body, and my whole heart. I love you so much, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. All God's children says, Amen. A great job talking to God, everyone. Well, now that our minds are ready, our bodies are ready, and our hearts are ready, let's all move into worship.
job worshiping everyone. We really worship with our whole minds, our whole bodies, and our whole hearts. Now it's time to look at the book, the Bible. Today's adventure question is, how can I be God's friend? Hmm. Well, let's all look at the book, the Bible, and discover what God teaches us today. Sunday morning, some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone, and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go tell his disciples. The women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial cloths. They went back home confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either, but I'm feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Wow, Jesus is so amazing. Last week, we learned that God gave us a free gift through Jesus. Do you remember what the gift is? I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter G. G, G, G. What is the free gift that God gave us? That's right, it's grace. Can we say grace together? Grace, very good. Through Jesus, God gave us the free gift of his grace. Grace means that Jesus, that God, will always love us and forgive us, no matter what. And grace is always here for us. So when we choose to ask Jesus to be our leader and our best friend, Jesus gives us his grace and erases all our yucky sins away. Let's say this together so that we can always remember that Jesus gives us his grace and erases all our sins away. You ready? Say this with me. Jesus forgives me. Let's say that again. Jesus forgives me. Let's say that one more time. Jesus forgives me. Very good. Jesus chose to save us from our yucky sins. And God chose to give us his gift of grace for us. And today we can choose to be God's friend and to follow Jesus everywhere we go. So let me ask you boys and girls, how can I be God's friend? Hmm. Let's answer it together. Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Let's say that again. Ready? Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Very good, everyone. We also have an incredible Bible verse that helps us remember this too. So let's all stand up and say our Bible verse together. You ready? Roll your shoulders and let's say it together. Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Very good. Now we're gonna say it as quiet as a mouse. You ready? Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Great job. Now we're going to say it one more time. 
but as loud as we can so our neighbors know that Jesus saved them too. So clear your throats. <clears throat> Here we go. Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Great job, everyone. When we choose to be friends with God, and when we choose that, when we choose to believe that he lives again, Jesus helps us to shine his light even brighter everywhere we go. So let's all thank God together and talk to him today for giving us his grace. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Hi God, thank you for loving me and forgiving me no matter what. I choose you to be my leader and my best friend. I love you so much, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. All God's children says, Amen. Great job talking to God, everyone. Well, now we have a super fun song to sing with Mr. Music. So let's go. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive in me. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is the friend I need. Ready? Here we go. Repeat after me. Okay. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's alive. I believe he's alive. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's alive. I believe he's alive. That was great. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. Jesus rose again. Jesus rose up from the dead. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way to be God's friend. Ready? Here we go. Okay. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's alive. I believe he's alive. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's alive. I believe he's alive. I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe. our Bible adventure together. Today we learned that through Jesus, God gave us a free gift. Do you remember what that gift is? That's right, grace. Through Jesus, God gave us the free gift of his grace. And through God's grace, Jesus erases all our yucky sins away. When we choose to follow Jesus and be God's friend, we get to shine God's light even brighter everywhere we go. Next week, we are going to learn even more about how we can be friends with God and how we can shine his light even brighter. So come join us next week. And until then, remember, you are loved by God. See you next week. Bye.